really didn't feel no way. And if he did, I got my chin out. Take your best shot, I'ma take that chin, boy. Do what you do. You know what I mean? Like, all good. Like, it's, it's love. J. Cole has apologized to Kendrick Lamar. This is Fresh Shape Up Opinion with your guy Alize. Don't forget to subscribe. So, we have to say an RIP to hip hop people. Because this is the first time I've ever heard an MC apologize to another MC that dissed him. Kendrick Lamar dissed J. Cole and Drake on the song he featured on called Like That. He said there is no big three, it's just big him. J. Cole's always talking about the big three, da 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 da. Kendrick and Drake just talk about themselves being number one. But look, forget all that. He dissed you, J. Cole. And J. Cole, he comes back with a nice reply. I actually thought it was a very good reply. He called it a warm up, but I actually thought it was a really good diss song. It was called Seven Minute Drill. It was actually on point. I ain't gonna lie. The way he broke Kendrick down bit by bit. You know, Kendrick came up with a little warning shot. We all know it wasn't a real diss. It was like a little, little uh, warning shot type of thing. And then J. Cole replies with his own warning shot, but he has two verses in there, two or three verses. But he has more points. So we're like, he's taking up another level. That's, that's how it's supposed to be. But then within what, 24 hours? Was it up to two days? I don't believe it was up to two days later. J. Cole goes on stage and apologizes. All right, check out the clip. Ah, no, I don't do that, but I got to keep it 100 with y'all, right? They had a relapse, right? Because y'all heard happened two, two, three weeks ago, however long it was. Y'all heard that bazooka that was dropped on the game, right? So all of this time of me moving on my own accord, for the first time I was tested. Why am I tested? Because I got the world and I got my like, what you gonna do, Cole? <laughs> it's like, bitch boy, I must have had a thousand missed calls. Oh my God. Text flooded, I couldn't even answer my It's wartime, boom, 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 right? want to see blood and and I was conflicted because one I know my heart you know what I mean and like I know how I feel about my peers these two that I just been blessed to even stand beside in this game let alone chase chase their greatness right so I felt conflicted because I'm like bro I know I don't really feel no way but the world want to see blood I don't know if y'all can feel that but the world want to see blood so I say all of that to say, in my spirit of trying to like get this music out, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I moved in a way that was, that I feel spiritually feel bad on me. Like, like I try to like jab my neck and I try to keep it friendly. But at the end of the day, when I listen to it and when it comes out and I see the talk, that sit right with my spirit, that makes me feel, that disrupts my peace. So what I wanna say right here tonight, is in the midst of me doing that and, and, and trying to find a little angle and downplay this, this Nick in, uh, catalog and his greatness. I want to say right now tonight, how many people think Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest motherfuckers to ever touch a phone? Dreamville, y'all love Kendrick Lamar, correct? As do I. So I just want to come up here and be like, publicly be like, bruh, that was the lamest, like, goofy I say all that to say, it made me feel like 10 years ago when I was moving incorrectly. And I pray that God align me back up on my purpose and on my path. You know what I mean? I pray that I really didn't feel no way. And if he did, my, I got my chin out. Take your best shot, I'm gonna take that chin, boy. Do what you do. You know what I mean? Like, all good. Like, it's, it's love. And I pray that, you know, I pray that y'all are like, forgive a nigga for like the misstep and then, and then I can get back to my true path because I ain't gonna lie to y'all past two days felt terrible like it let me know how good I've been sleeping for the past 10 years so all of that to say man I want to I want to now perform the song that's a reminder to me of getting back on the right path and getting in tune with God and the name of the song is called Love Yours I want to do that for y'all right now yeah fam I know I can hear you all crying because hip hop is over. When you get one of the big MCs, the most lyrical rapper in my opinion in, in rap right now, apologize for a simple rap beef. Like, this, we, nobody's anticipating, yo, seeing in the club and people getting punched up or stabbed up or anything like that. This was just a simple 
hip hop, traditional hip hop beef. J. Cole is old enough to remember Jay Z and Nas. Ain't nobody apologizing there. Well, Jay Z apologized because he went too far in something, but he didn't back down. He kept dissing Nas. Nas kept dissing Jay Z. And now they're best friends or good friends. You can apologize after the dust has settled and it's all good because we all know it's just hip hop. But to apologize within 24 hours of you releasing your diss song, I can just say I'm sad. I'm sad. I speak for all hip hop people. We're just sad that you apologize. And I feel like J. Cole was in his at his peak at the moment. For most of his career, he's just been behind Drake and Kendrick. And don't get me twisted, he's still behind Drake in terms of popularity. But Kendrick had a, a bad album last time around. So I feel like he's ahead of Kendrick. And then Cole demolished Drake on that shooter song that was on Drake's album. So I feel Cole was in his best position in his whole career in terms of like taking that top spot. And then this beef comes along and Cole's been coming out with some mad features in recent weeks. You know the type of features that you like, you screw your face, listen to like, oh, damn, that was a hotline. He's, so he's been in proper good form. Like I said, Kendrick is falling off a little bit. Drake's just doing his commercial music. He ain't really doing the bars thing. So Cole had all the space to just take the reins of hip hop and be that guy. And he apologized. I don't think I've seen I don't think I've seen anybody online, even the biggest J. Cole fan, respect that he apologized. They might respect it, but they don't like it. Because if you're old enough, you know hip hop is about being competitive. It's about vying for that number one spot. But it's like he's it's like he's scared to be that number one guy. He knows he's nice, he knows he can rap, he knows he's lyrical, but he doesn't want to be the guy that say, everyone says, yeah, this guy's the king of hip hop right now in 2024. And the fact that you backed out of a, a battle before it's even taken off, he can never be number one. Nah, he might be still the most lyrical. Don't get me twisted, but you cannot be apologizing for a beef because, it, and the guy said it didn't sit well in his soul. For J. Cole to back out like this, he's got to stop doing all that, I'm the best and I killed all these rappers and da 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 da. Like, you got to leave all that talk. Got to leave it. Just say, hey, I'm, a one, I'm one amongst many. Quit chatting like you're the best because you, you had the opportunity to beat the best in someone like Kendrick and you decided to just back out. But what confuses me though is that Kendrick shot at you. Like fam, how are you going to apologize to the guy that shot at you first? Like it don't make any sense. Like it's just a sport. Like you play basketball, J. Cole. You ain't going to apologize to dunking on them. You know what I mean? It's just a sad day in hip hop. But at the end of the day, we've got to respect it. Cole doesn't want that smoke. There's a lot of rappers that don't want that smoke from another rapper, but we've never really seen a rapper come out and say it straight up and down. I don't want no smoke with this guy. But all I hope is Drake needs to come out now. Drake apparently has finished his tour. So Drake's got to come through and just go at Kendrick Lamar. The backlash that J. Cole's receiving right now for backing out, Drake can see that and knows that, yo, let me come and save hip hop. Because you know what? If Drake comes out with a really good battle song, people will be back on Drake's side, you know, because a lot of people kind of turn off Drake. He's a bit too pop. He needs to come back with that back to back. Do you know what I mean? Even slide some like Diddy lines in there, some sort of metaphor about Diddy. People go mad, let it bang in the club. Listen. I'm amping this up. Who knows, Drake might come out next and tweet something, something like a this, some subliminal thing. Or he might say, I don't want no smoke either. Nah, nah, I don't think Drake's gonna do that. Drake never backs down from a battle. So we need to watch that space, people. But anyway, people, I wanna know what you lot think about this situation. J. Cole apologizing, really dead in the whole excitement of this beef. Like he's literally just counted himself out of this whole thing which is a shame. Yeah, I want to know what you lot think. Let me know in the comments. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. It's Fresh Hip Hop Opinion. Peace and love.